the Arts Award is about active participation and development in the arts. One of the ways that Arts Award fits in perfectly with our Academy's priorities is the fact that it's actually an accreditation um, and with the bronze it's the accreditation that students can get in Key Stage 3. Something that has been really, really positive about Arts Award is the kind of literacy element that we've been able to develop, so the kind of verbal literacy skills and obviously the written literacy skills as well. It also keeps students interested in school. We find a lot of students are staying after school, coming in at lunch to work with what we're doing because they're really interested and they're really enjoying those things. Because it opens people's eyes to the arts, suddenly you have Year 9 students who are opting to do GCSEs and BTECs in dance and drama and art and music. The way that we deliver Bronze Arts Award is we run lots of extracurricular clubs through tutor time in the morning, through break time and lunch times and after school. So we have you know, everything from karaoke, a radio broadcasting, we have film and animation clubs. We deliver the Bronze Arts Award to the whole of Year 7 um, throughout the curriculum through four different subjects. Drama, music, ICT and dance. Here at Rawlins, I deliver Arts Award as an extracurricular option, as a wider core option and sometimes as a special project. When we do special projects, that might be with our skills for learning groups, our special needs groups. We might do a project in collaboration with one of our feeder schools or primary schools. We've always delivered Bronze Arts Award to gifted and talented students, but this year we've decided to roll that out to across the whole of Year 9. So we're now going to be delivering it to about 120 students within the curriculum. So we make sure that students get to experience dance, drama, art and music. Sometimes for the young people it's an introduction to the arts. Some people might not have had the experience of doing drama or music or even being in front of an audience. We're quite a rural school in a rural area, so there's not much access to the arts. And so the Arts Award has been a great way for us to expose students to arts they never would have necessarily seen before. You get to enthuse about all the different types of arts and learn more about your favourite type of art and learn what you're good and not good at. I think confidence is definitely something that's improved by the Arts Award because they're working in teams more, they're working with students they wouldn't necessarily have worked with, but also they're seeing professional work, they're seeing people in careers that they potentially want to go on to, so it kind of also raises their aspirations. With the sharing a skill, it gets leadership in there and they kind of have that get ownership of what they want to do. They kind of realise that actually I do have, I do have talents, I do know what I've developed over the course of the year and I can share that skill and that's really nice to see. What I enjoyed about Bronze Arts Award the most was learning something new and helping others and how to develop their skills as well as mine in the process. It is a formally recognised qualification and that makes a huge difference on funding and you know when, you, when you're delivering these ideas to the governors. It's well known that students who are happier, who are more relaxed, but also students who are involved quite heavily in the arts and creative areas, it improves their schoolwork. I would wholly recommend it. I can't believe anyone doesn't do it if you've got the opportunity to do it.